Well, today, it's, it's a special day for the channel. Before I got into knives, um, I was what some might call a fountain pen uh, enthusiast. I love, I love fountain pens. I still love them. I carry one and I use one at work every single day. Uh, but I haven't bought a pen in a very, 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 very long time. Um, now there are a lot of pens out on the market, especially EDC pens, you know what I'm talking about, machined, bolt action, etc, etc, etc. But, uh, for me, there's a little brand out in Arizona called Keras Customs or Keras Pen Co. Uh, small machine shop, small crew. And they manufacture some lovely pens. I use my Keras Pinco Ink fountain pen at work every single day. I've purchased one for my mother. Um, it, it, I like what they do. And they the value and the price point is just top notch for a good American made quality pen. So we're gonna unbox this one. First ever pen unboxing, unboxing knife per usual, the Spyderco Pulsa. Um, oh, look. Look at that. Keras Customs. There's the website. Check them out. They do some really cool stuff. I know there's a pool tab, but this is a knife channel, so... <laughs> what am I, some kind of chump? No, sir. <laughs> uh, no, sir. Uh, no, sir, I am not. Look, there it is. Beautiful. It's a lot of envelope for such a small package, but... Made in Mesa. I like their packaging. It's so, it's so old school, you know what I mean? Um, very, you know, 50s, 60s hot rod. I love it. I absolutely love it. There's a website again. If you want to check them out, they are on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and all kinds of stuff. But let's open this beauty up. <laughs> nice. Just simple, clean packaging. And there we have it. Look at that. Machined aluminum. Nice uh, pocket clip held on by a couple of, uh, uh, what are those, just kind of hex screws. I'm not sure the size. Nice machine work. Clean. So clean. Oh, it's been a long time. Nice kind of grippy texturing here. Really lightweight. I believe these are machined aluminum. This isn't titanium or brass or copper or anything. It's uh, anodized aluminum. And it's so nice looking. Nice knurling up here. Really nice. God, that's light. Which is good for me. Um, you know, my poor little wrists can't handle the heft of some of these crazy EDC pens. Interesting noise. Holy crap. Not clicky. Just kind of smooth. And it makes a, a kind of zipper sound. Zip, zip. It, it feels really nice. Look, I, I'm a found pen guy, but this is the first time I bought a nice clicky ballpoint style pen. You know, I just figured it'd be good for the channel. It'd be good for, uh, for office work, which I do a lot of, and it'd be good for photographs. And you know how when I do my shopping, first and foremost, what's important is how good it's going to look in a photograph. And this is totally a knife clip. That's what I love about it. You can tell they're EDC guys, you know? Great. I can't remember what it's called. Um, uh, and there's nothing on the box. Oh, somebody is the, aha. This is the, <laughs> thank God for Google. This is the EDK V2. I'm assuming EDK meaning like because they do, you know, it, like, Keras Customs. Wait. There. Keras Customs. Customs spelled with a K. You get it? You see what I'm, see what's happening here? So this is EDK is in Everyday Carry, but Carry spelled with a K. Nice, right? It's the little things that, that interest me the most. It is, I mean, the machine work is incredible. I have no idea where this breaks here. Oh my god, the threads are so smooth. Nice O-ring in there too, so it seals up real tight. Man. 
I cannot tell you or show you how smooth the threads are. Holy crap. Okay, well, in, this isn't a knife, this is a pen, so we should probably write something, I guess. You know, the first time doing this, you bear with me. Um, let me get some paper. Maybe. Let's see if I can do this with a tripod in the way. This is from a, this is from a traveler's notebook. If you're a fountain pen person, you have heard of the Traveler's Company of Japan. They make, they use uh, Midori paper, I believe, which is a manufacturer of a very high-end kind of fountain pen ink proof paper, but it's one of my favorite papers. Um, so let's, uh, please don't judge me for my handwriting. I beggeth, I beggeth, but, This is the, oh, Karis Customs, EDK V2, EDK V2, rollerball, gel insert in there, I believe, let's pop it out, let's pop it out while we're zoomed in, Schmidt capless system, one year cap off time. P8126 is the model number on the refills. I looked them up on Amazon before I bought this. They're really, it's like a four pack for like $8 or like $6 or something. Blue Schmidt. Um, capitalist. Ink. Really, really, really smooth. I mean, they didn't manufacture the ink, but I'm, I've always been a Schmidt guy as far as roller bowl and, and gel ink goes. It's just really smooth. Great flow. Great balance in the hand. Not too back heavy, which can make a lot of pins very, very uncomfortable. But, uh, you know, solid ergos, <laughs> shall we say, since this is a knife channel. Great. Writing performance. Not clicky. Just smooth. Deployment. My handwriting's horrible. I'm sorry. Great balance. Writes really well. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. It's just a nice looking pen. I think these were... Um, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. These were not expensive. Like a tactile pen of this stature is gonna run you about a hundred bucks. Tactile Pen Co, who I'm also a big fan of. Um, but this was like 60 bucks, 59 bucks. I think I had a discount code that I found. Less than 60 bucks. Like it comes in a million colors. American made. Check it out. It's a sweet, cool new pen. It's been a long time, and I figured I would share it with all of you. So, uh, I don't really know what else to say. Until next time, per usual, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.